Okay, what, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to, I'm going to take you through a very simple system of how you can ma manage your time. I don't, it's not time management, but how you can manage your time, your effort, and your money. So the objective is this: there are only three resources you have: time, effort, and money. These are the three resources you own, and they're all limited. Money's not really, and effort isn't, but it's still 24 hours in a the day. There's only so much you can do. The question now to ask is, how effectively are you using your time? I'm not going to teach you how to manage your time. I'm going to show you how much time you are wasting. I'm going to show you how much money you are wasting. And I'm going to show you how much effort you are wasting. So if you could get more time, more effort, and more money, would that make your life better? Absolutely. For example, I love living in India. One of the biggest reasons is because I have the luxury of having someone working in my house, a cleaner, a cook, and I have great staff in my office that really work really, really hard. In London, I don't have a maid or a cook, because in London, you don't have maids or cooks. You just don't. I mean, one comes in once a week, does all the cleaning or whatever, but I do my own cleaning. I, do, I wash my own car, which I really enjoy doing, by the way, for some reason. I, I wash my own car, I iron my own clothes. If my mum cannot make me breakfast, I make my own breakfast. But when I come to India, it's really cool. I don't have to drive, I don't have to cook, I don't have to clean, I don't even have to go to the bank. It's so brilliant because I get so much time extra in my life that I actually feel really good about being here. One of, the, one of the biggest reasons. The other reason is the weather. I like the hot weather. I love the sun. And of course, the biggest reason is the people. But my point is, I save hours in India. Hours. I'm not saying minutes. Hours. Because over there, I wake up in the morning. If I want to go to the bank, I have to go. If I have to post a letter, I have to go. If I have to do X, Y, Z, I mean, the office is different, but any kind of personal work, I do. Most of the time, I make my own breakfast in the morning. I get up, I have a quick uh, oatmeal or something, but I make it. I, I, I enjoy doing that. If I, my bedroom, I clean myself. I help my mom clean the house up if need be, but I do it. But it takes time. And when I drive in London, it's a pain because there's so much traffic. So I can't think about my work or chill out while I'm driving. Because when you're driving, you should be focusing. I put music on, but then it's not the same thing. So I can't listen to my personal development audio programs because you can't concentrate properly. But when I'm in India, I have so much time. And I don't have to put as much effort in here. In terms of money, there's more money in London. Like for a seminar like this, or a millionaire blueprint, it would be at least between For one day, 40,000 to one lakh per person in London. That's what they pay. An NLP program in London is 3,000 pounds, three lakhs. It's 35 or 40,000 in India. It's really amazing here. So here, I don't make as much, but I also save a lot of money. Because if I hire a cook in London, he'll probably charge me at least a full-time in-house cook. Maybe 1.8 lakhs a month, or at least, if it's a good one. If I get a maid, she'll charge me at least 3,000 rupees an hour, at least, to come in and work. Which is cool, I can do that. But here I save a lot of money too. Property is really expensive here, compared to London. The apartment I live in would be half the price in London, compared to what I pay here. So that's a little bit of a headache. But it's also great, because when I bought it, it was 3,000 rupees a square feet. Now it's 26,000. So I'm really happy because I would never have made that in London in my property. So everything is good here. Now you may say that, oh, you need money to have cooked maids. And no, you don't. I mean, if I could invest 10,000 rupees into a cook to cook food for me, for example, and that would take away three hours of my life and give me more effort, is it worth the investment? Hell yeah. Oh, yes, it's worth it. So I would find a way to make an extra 10 grand just to pay a cook to come and take the headache away from me. My cook I used to have before, could cook, could clean, he did everything for me, he was even better. But the point I'm saying is, there's an investment, but the return is fabulous. If you could find three hours a day in your life, what else could you do? That's a lot of time, because the biggest complaint most people is, I don't have the time, which is absolute bullshit of the highest order. I mean, really, because it is bullshit. Everyone has time, we have priorities. We don't have priorities. So I'm going to show you right now a system where 
you can see actually how much time, money, and effort you waste every single day. And it's important for you to know this so that you can understand that when you tell someone, oh, I don't have the time, they'll say, yeah, right. I don't have the money. Or oh, I put so much effort in all day long and I don't get the reward. Some of you are going to be a little shocked if you're honest. So we, can we give them up? So when you get this, I want you to go to page number five. I'm just going to hand them out. And please don't rush through it. Just go with the pages that I tell you. Please don't rush through it. People do that. Some people go through the whole manual and say, oh, I filled it in. Don't do that. Okay, also, please, if you, um, please do not make any recordings of the seminars because some people are recording the seminar, the complete seminar, that would not be appropriate, unfair. If you want to make short videos and short audio, they have no problem. But don't record the whole 10 hours because it will be a little unfair. Okay. okay, just go to page number 5. Page five. Okay, this is what we're going to do. Again, my, my kind of work is really simple. I'm not going to complicate it. It's really simple that most of you will never do it. But do it because it's that simple. Okay, this is what we're going to do. We're going to start with time. And I've broken up the day. If you go to page number six. I've broken up the day into early morning, late morning, midday, early afternoon, late afternoon, evening, night, weekends. Okay? I'm going to ask you in a second to write down exactly what you do during these periods of time. Now, you have to be honest because most of us do have some level of routine. We do. Most of us. Now, some of you may say, oh, I don't know where I'm going to be tomorrow. But if you don't know where you're going to be, you know you're going to be somewhere. That means you'll be traveling. But we do have some kind of routine. If you ask me today, can you predict what you're going to be doing over the next four or five days? I could. Pretty easy. I know my average. So it doesn't have to be perfect, but you know that the things that you know you, you do every single day. So early morning would mean what? From the time you rise until, say, 10 o'clock. Mid -mo late morning would be from 10 o'clock till midday. Midday would be from midday until, say, 4. And then from 4 to 6, and evening, night, etc. And then weekends we will keep as separate. So we're talking about Monday to Friday. And you can use this space. If you don't want to use the space and it's not enough, you can do it in your notes. But I want you to, over the next, uh, say, five, ten minutes now, write down everything that you do. And don't, even if you go for a cigarette, write it down. Even if you listen to music in the morning, write it down. What, do you, what are your activities in the morning? So we're writing activities, everything that you do. So you wake up in the morning, you, go to, you, you, go to, you, you have your shower, you have your breakfast, you read a newspaper, you push your television on. I'm talking about everything. Whatever you can think of that you know that you do every single day, do. So if you're traveling, you put traveling to office. Uh, if you're going out with your friends, going out with friends. If you go play cards every night, play cards. Whatever you do. I don't care what you do. But I want you to write down everything that you do between these timings. Do not miss anything. Even if you're doing something you shouldn't be doing, write it down, please. Everything. Got it? Any, any questions with that? Yeah. Yeah, so let's say you're in the office. Let's say you're in the office. You are in the office early morning. So late, late morning, just for example. So you will write down what you do in your office. Because even in the office, I know, and correct me if I'm wrong, out of eight hours in an office, most people are productive for only three. They balance, they do nothing. They think they're working, but they don't actually work. Going through papers, doing this, doing that. Most people, I'm saying. So even if we say, be generous, out of eight hours, four hours are productive. The other four hours are not. Tea break, lunch break, disc break, cigarette break, talking to friends. So I'm saying be honest in that. Really honest. Yeah. Uh, 
Or when I work in shift, so one month is one time, and the next month next. So, so take one month as an example. Your average month, you can do an average. I mean, most of the things should be predictable. So uh, take one month, take one week as an example. Your last week that has happened, maybe, or take a week where you know. Yeah, take your last week as an example. If you have any questions, please ask. Do not hesitate at all. If you want me to repeat it again, I have no problem. How many of you have completed? Well, how many of you are not? You can carry on and I'll carry on. Okay, um, anyone realized that they're spending a lot of time doing the right things or the wrong things? A lot of time, right? So if we take time as a very valuable resource, that is the only thing that's limited as far as I'm concerned. Time is the only thing that we, we don't even know how much time we have, literally speaking. So we take each day as it comes and each day should be productive.